Hello YouTubers, welcome back to Yorkshire Media, I am Mark, your host, your presenter, whatever you want me to be. And now, I am better and cheaper than the BBC, cheaper than Netflix, cheaper than every, everybody else. I'm even better and cheaper than Patreon and paid subscription. So there you go, you get me for free. So, what am I talking about today? Well, I'm going to do a disclaimer because it's that time of month again it's my mental health journey but I am no medical expert I only talk about my own experience with mental health you know it may help other people it may not but I am not a medical I'm not a doctor or anything like that I talk about myself and what I go through on a bi-monthly you know month by month basis basically and that's what I do I talk about me what I've been going through I've been doing this since the lockdown and um, yeah, it might not prove popular, but it's a subject, you know, when I talk to the camera and you watch the video, it does seem to help, you know, it, it gets a lot off my plate, off my head and things like that. So, how has my, so, we'll begin. So, how has my mental health? Well, my mental health this month, it's been, well, <laughs> it's been up and down. It, it were okay. Um... Until, until when? It was okay. I mean, I mean, it had been a funny week. That previous week before that, it had been a funny week. Um, but I think it was like, it, you know, it started out okay. Well, yeah, you know, six or seven, you know, about six days ago. You know, nearly a week ago, I, I met Wayne again. And, and I interviewed and I was fine. I woke up Friday and... I, I completely, yeah. You know, I went to her and I and I and I suddenly felt very vulnerable, um, panicky. I, I had a panic attack. You know, you know, you know, really panicky, and really, you know, you know, you know, you know, my brain were telling me, oh, oh, you should get in. It, it's not safe. I'm thinking, oh, you know, I mean. So what did I do? So Friday I came back in. <laughs> I did. I didn't go. I didn't go nowhere Friday. Really, um, but I was very panicky. I, I really was, um, more so than ever I've done before, um, and things like that. And I've, I've been like this for un, un, until this week. And yes, I've, I've I've made an appointment to see my GP and things like that. And she seems to think it, it's down to me PTSD as well. You know, you know, there's a bit of but and there's a bit of paranoia in there as well because I do suffer from paranoia and things like that. Um, why I'm, I'm suddenly getting panic attacks? I don't know. I just felt overwhelmed. I've been outside. I, I really did. I, re I really felt overwhelmed. Um, unbelievable. I don't want to feel like that again. Um, I seem to be. How can I put it? Calming down now. I oh, am. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you know, I, I've been going to shop and that for food and things like that. So yeah, I did go out Saturday and I felt a bit nervous in doing so, but I did it. I forced myself to do it, and and I forced myself to go out Monday and, and things like that. And as you know, I, I did me, um, I, I, I did my live stream Monday, didn't I? Yeah. I did a live stream Monday night, but I have been out this Monday. Um, I'm due to go out this Tuesday to do shopping, so I'm, I'm I am making myself go out. And um, I told my doctor this, and she says, mm, "Okay, that may or may not help, but it might only help in a temporary basis. Please come and see me." I right, okay. Well, my doctor don't seem to like throwing pills at the thing, so I don't think she'll put me on twenty tablets uh, as such. You know what I mean? And we see how it goes, but that's what my mental health journey's been all about. Um, you know, my mental health. I, I mean, you know, I do feel, I, I do feel, I feel a mixture of things when when that particular thing happens. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm only laughing because I'm nervous. I'm not laughing. Well, I'm laughing at myself basically. But yeah, it is a weird thing. Yeah, I mean. I don't expect people to understand how I felt, but I just suddenly, that particular day, I just suddenly, I woke up Friday, I thought it was just going to every, every normal Friday, and I was going to go, yeah, 
I was going out to shop and I came back and I was, I was literally shaking and you know what I mean <coughs> and that and it, it was unbelievable and, it, and even Kevin noticed that I was acting a bit strange all that week and all the week previous and the week previous to that so, for, so he says for at least nearly four weeks now you, you've been acting out of character and things like that Think, well, yeah, but yeah, I'm shaking. I'm, I'm literally shaking. It's not because I'm an alcoholic, because I, I I don't drink alcohol or drugs. I drink tea, <laughs> but I'm not having withdrawal symptoms from tea. In case says, no, you're just having. You're panicking. You, it, it's it's a panic attack. Um, it might have been a mild form, but when I were out there, I, I, I I'm not ashamed to say it, I really shit myself basically. Um, but yeah. It, 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 yeah, but I've been in touch with doctor, like I said, and I've, I've got an appointment. And I go see her on Wednesday, so we we'll see what she says on on Wednesday, and and that. So, yeah, I will let you know in me like, yeah, don't forget I'm going live at eight p.m. on Wednesday night as well, and don't forget Yorkshire lad, he's going live on Sunday, this Sunday coming up. Um, at 8 p.m. as well, so so don't miss them two live streams. You know, you know, you you've got me Wednesday, then you've got Wayne on Thursday. I mean, on ugh, he can't do Thursday because he's over at his girlfriend's, and he don't feel right in doing a live stream over there. So I don't blame him. Yeah, you know I mean, it, you know, he has a relationship and that, and he needs to take a break from from doing a bit, a little bit of YouTube. I know that. So so Wayne will be going live Sunday night at 8 p.m so hopefully that you'll all support him and and go into his uh, live stream like hopefully you come into my live stream on this wednesday well that's tomorrow so today's tuesday so this wednesday 8 p.m i'll be live it's as simple as that and i may be changing the time on the monday slot as well um because someone's at, at has asked me if I can do it later on Monday. I couldn't do it that Monday later, but I might do next Monday at the same time as I do Wednesdays. So it'll be eight pm either way, and, it, and it's as simple as that. Yeah, it's as simple as that. Um, and yes, it might take away. You know, it might take away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I might only get a small support that particular day. I don't, I don't know. So we'll see. We'll see what goes on. Um, but. I would just ask if it, you know, if it is it possible to go a bit later. So I thought, well, yeah, yeah, it is possible. I'm hearing you. <laughs> I'm taking the, yeah, you know, I, I am hearing you. And even Wayne says, well, yeah, do it at night. It, it might be better for you to do it at night, and then obviously do 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 it Monday. It's got all day Tuesday to get traction on it and things like that. So yeah, hopefully. So yeah. So unfortunately my mental health has been up and down, it has been really bad, I'm not going to lie to you, I'm not going to lie to my subscribers, I have feeling very, I felt very vulnerable and, and things like that and I've never, I've never really felt like that, I've had panic attacks before but this is a completely different one, because for one it affected my eyesight, it was like tunnel vision, and I think what the hell's going on, you know, all my world just shrunk down to like a tunnel size, it was like tunnel vision, Um I, 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 and I could hardly walk. I had to, I, I, I had to sit down and 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 take a breather. I, I had my hands like that, covering my eyes. I, I couldn't believe it. I eventually got in and guess, and things like that. Kev Gorm says, "Are you all right?" I said, "Yeah, I'll be fine. I've just had a panic attack." But I think it was more than that. No, I really do. I, I, I think it was more than that because my heart rate was going on. Yeah, beating hundreds a dozen as well. And things like that, but you know, I take me time with. I do suffer from high blood pressure. It could have been that. I don't know, but I did feel very vulnerable and very panicky, and even pasty. I, I looked at me and I, I looked white as a sheet. So I don't know what we're going on. And I am not a doctor. I am not a medical expert. So I could look in. I've got a medical dictionary. I could look in that, but I'm not going to bother. I, I'm going to let me doctor. My doctor knows my symptoms. Um, I, I told the receptionist. What all going through and things like that. So hopefully, I, you know, when I go see her tomorrow, everything will be made more clear and things like that. But that is really the first time I felt really, really, really panicky. 
And I did, I, yeah, I, I felt bloody, yeah, 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 I felt bloody awful. But I don't say anything while I'm doing reviews. I won't say anything about it, because I, I like to, I, can, I, I like to save it up and, and do it for my mental health journey like I'm doing now. So I don't say anything. If people ask me in live stream, how are you? And I just go, well, I'm good, thank you. You know what I mean? I may not be good, but I, I don't want to... Yeah, you know, I don't want to burden anyone else with my mental health problems. You know what I mean? You know, other people might have other problems and things like that. You know what I mean? Um, I know people on YouTube do suffer from mental health, and and, and you know, and and they they don't talk about it. We should talk about it. We really should. Um, I talked about it a little bit. You know, you know, as any asked me on live stream. You know what's been going on, and I, and I told her panic attacks and anxiety. She says that's not good, and it ain't. I, I agree, it's it's not good, but we should be talking more about it. You know what I mean? But I think all that um, and things like that, and and I know my counsellor and things like because I do see a psychiatrist and I, I do talk to them, and and my psychiatrist seems to think that my past is coming back to haunt me a little bit. That I'm getting scared. I you know, think you know. Well, of what? He says, what you've been through? I says, what, you're talking about my childhood? No. I'm talking about your first and your second marriages where you got beaten up. That seems to be coming back because that is a trauma. Yeah, all right. So it's reinforcing your paranoia. Uh, yeah, that's what it seems to be in any case. That's what they say. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm no medical expert. But... Um, like I said, I do have nightmares about a car crash and things like that. I am stressed. And that could be part of it. That could be the reason why. Because I am stressed out. I am not getting enough sleep. If I think if you look at thumbnail on Yorkshire Lodge's channel, at the, at, my, at, at the interview, where they interview me and film me, if you look at his thumbnail, you'll see me wearing no glasses, but you'll see black rings in my eyes. And I'm definitely not getting enough sleep and things like that. I know that I am resting, obviously. You know what I mean? I I do YouTube and I play my games to relax, but it's things like that. You know what I mean? But every time I do go to sleep, yeah, you know, I I am scared of going to sleep because every time I do go to sleep, I have nightmares. I have nightmares about about my car crash. Um, I think it were a, I think it were a couple of nights ago this week. I think it no last week. I mean. Couple of night, I, I think it was last Wednesday, and um, third, uh, not third. I think it was Wednesday, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, where I had a nightmare about my ex-wife murdering, you know, and and she was murdering, you know, she was literally going to murder me. And I thought, Whoa, you know what I mean? And yeah, you know, it it could be all like that. So I am not doing well. And yes, before anyone asks, and before you put it in comments, you know. I'm a suicidal. Yes, I, 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 I think about suicide all the time, but I don't act on it. I haven't acted on it. I don't want to die. I don't want to leave this world until it's my time, um, and things like that. But you know, you know, you know, people have asked me, "Have you gone and seen your doctor?" Um, I was dragged into unemployment office. They're saying, "Well, look, well, you know, read, reading partnership are there to help you, Mark." I said, "Well, it's not my fault." I'm suffering from what I'm suffering from. They're just going to have to understand. And they agree with me. She says, well, it's on record. We've told them this. So, well, well they're going to have to understand. If they don't understand, tough shit. You know what I mean? Um, so, I am being sanctioned. I still get paid and things like that. Um, so, I'm all right there. Um, and, and, yes, I did make an appointment. As soon as I come out of uh, unemployment office, I think it was last Thursday. Yeah, last Thursday. I came out of the unemployment office. Because I signed on last Thursday. And that, and yeah, I uh, went and I says, can I make an appointment to see a doctor? And she says, it'll be next Wednesday. I says, well, that'll be fine. It, you know, is it over for no, no, coming to surgery. You know, it's about your mental health, Matt. You might as well talk to her face to face. So that's what I'm doing. So come Wednesday. I, I'm down at doctors and that. And, We'll see what happens, and I'll keep you up to date with that. So apart from that, I'm fine. I am okay. But you know, you know, you know, the majority of the people say to me, "Why do you do this on? Yeah, you know, why do you mention your mental health on YouTube?" Well, it's not because 
or what people think. I mean, I mean, a lot of people do think that people who has, I mean, I'm talking genuine people like myself, Lauren, out of Zane, like myself and Lauren and Fane, who I genuinely got mental health and we've got hidden disabilities and things like that. And yes, um, it's not to get the sympathy card, and I'm not play. I'm, I'm not throwing out the mental health card as well. You know what I mean? I don't use it to get out of things. You know what I mean? I am genuinely, genuinely got what I've got, and all the counselling in the. I've, I've been doing counselling for for most of my life. Um, I I seen child psychologists. I seen psychologists. I've been put onto a a psychiatrist since my car accident and things like that. And I'm still seeing that psychiatrist. That, I don't think, will ever stop. You know what I mean? He, if he thought I were a danger to myself, I'd be locked up. i will tell you that now. Because he's he said that to me, myself. He says, if I thought you were a danger t to yourself and others, I would get you into a mental hospital. But you're not. You, you know what I mean? We need to see, you know, see if we can... Do something about it before it gets to that stage. I goes, well, I won't hurt anybody. Up. I goes, he goes right. And I says, and I, and I don't think I start self harming again. He says, ah, so you used to self. I said, when I was younger, yes, but I won't do it again. I, you know what I mean? Um, that's why I see I saw psycho, you know, psychologists after what from what my dad. You know, I thought, well, if my dad wants me dead, I might as well slip. And I did. I slipped the wrist. I did it all wrong. <laughs> But that's what I did when I was a child and things like that. And then I used to self-arm. I don't do it anymore because, well, I've got no skills. And things like that. So, yeah, I mean, but that's what, you know, psychiatrists are there to help and things like that. And if a psychiatrist says, I don't think tablets is, is, is the answer. I think, you know, this is what we're doing is the answer, Matt. You, you have to be truthful to yourself. And to others around you and things like that. Kevin knows all about it. All my friends who need to know know about it. You know what I mean? Even even new friends. Yeah, you know I mean even Lauren. You know, out of any knows how how you know what I've got and things like that. Yes, yes, I have got PTSD and 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 and, and stuff like that. But they say, well, there's different levels of it. Well, PTSD is PTSD. I've got PTSD through a car crash, but according to the experts, and according to the doctors, and the uh, the psychology and the psychiatrist at hospital, where they were in LGI, said, you've had another trauma in your life, that, you know, this car crash has set that trauma off, and as well as this, and it's created PTSD, it, and, and they say it's a complex thing, and it is complex, you know what I mean? So I, I've had a couple of, I, I, yeah, I say yes, I have had traumas in, in, in my previous life. And they wanted to know what trauma I had. And, and I told them, I, I told them, that, I'm not going to say on air what trauma. All, all I am going to say is one of the traumas is, <coughs> it, it, I mean, I'm not laughing, is where my dad beat me and my mum up, my mother up. That caused trauma because I wasn't allowed to say anything. I wasn't allowed to talk about it. You know, I had to keep it all in. I had to go to school, act as normal. If I got, I swear I got my bruises. I had to lie, and things like that. Uh, and and uh, I I did. And then I covered my mother after the last beating he gave her, and he cut her hair off and he chucked her down the cellar steps and jumped on her. After that, I told my mum when she was healing up. I told my mum. You have to do something. He's going to kill both of us if we don't get out of here. Uh, my mum says, <clears throat> don't worry about it. But the courts at that time, when she was going through a divorce in the 70s, they made my mum stay in marriage to home until divorce was through. And it came through pretty quickly, but he, he was still being trying to be violent and things like that. But he was warned by police. Touch either of them, you'll be locked up. He was lucky he didn't get prison. You know what I mean? You won't get away with it today. And the other trauma, I'm not going to say on it. Um, that is personal to me. That's what my ex-wife did. My ex-wife beat me up and things like that. But she uh, she did more than that. And my second ex-wife got me beaten up. And, you, know, you can see where I'm going. Uh, and then I have the car crash. You know, so the car crash is it, created. I mean, I didn't think I'd have PTSD because it were 
it was several days after it was like yeah i mean i mean the car accident happened on the 16th of december i went into surgery on the 17th and i, I was down for a long time yeah i'm i'm talking 12 i'm i'm talking over 12 hours i'm talking 13 14 hours in surgery and that's what they, they fixed all my bones in one go then I had to go into ICU because I was swelling up. I couldn't control me up. I couldn't control my gases. So they took me in there. I got that sorted. Put me back on trauma ward. And then two days after that, I started getting overwhelmed and panicky. And, and they said, right, right, no pull. You know. So I got a psychiatrist to see me. I felt sorry for a psychiatrist. But she listened. She took notes. She came back to me. She says, are you all right now? How do you feel? I said, well, I feel a lot better that someone's sat there listened and understood what I, you know what i've said and she says well i can't say i know how we're feeling because i don't but from what you tell me yes we think you've had other trauma and this trauma car accident set that off basically so yeah that's what they've told me and that's what's on my medical record in any case down at my doctors because my doctors looked up oh yeah you yeah you know, it's all registered that i've got ptsd and they put on it complex, <laughs> you know what I mean? So there is different levels of PTSD. I mean, I mean the worst level of PTSD, as far as I'm concerned, is what they get in war. <laughs> you know what I mean? They've got a battlefield in the head, and that is bad. That is really, really bad. Yeah, so that's me in a nutshell, really. So, yeah, so no, I'm not, I'm not after sympathy. I don't want sympathy. I don't want to be treated any differently from what I am. It's as simple as that, you know. I'm generally doing this. I'm not like a cel you know, I'm not a celebrity. I'm no one famous. Who you know, you know who pulls card? Uh, you know what I mean things like that. I'm not like that. I've got hidden disabilities. I know I've got a mental health problem. A lot of people say, "Oh well, you're just being lazy." Well, no, I'm not being lazy. Mental, you know, I haven't chosen this mental health issue. Mental health has chosen me, and it's as simple as that. You know what I mean? And that's what I'm, you know, I've been going through hell for, since 2013, after a car accident, really. So 2014, I've been going through hell. You know what I mean? I, 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 I'm just wondering when the nightmares are going to stop. And, you know, this is why I'm seeing my doctor today. Hopefully she'll give me an answer. Well, she won't give me an answer to hell. I'm hoping she's going to try and give me something to help, even if she has to give me tablets. You know what I mean? to help this you know with my ptsd and things like that you know what i mean you know what i mean i do talk a lot about it you know people say oh well that's the most important the more you talk it'll lessen off no it hasn't <laughs> it doesn't i can go minute by minute by minute through that car accident and i can tell you to the t how it happened and what happened you know what i mean it ain't got any less it, it just seems to be there you know what i mean so we'll get that sorted out of, well Hopefully, try and get something sorted out, and that, yeah, you know, I might, you know, and that. Don't forget, I've got fatigue syndrome as well. You know that 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 I've got that as well. That fatigue syndrome as well. So yeah, and things like that. So that's me in a nutshell. My mental health. It's been up and down for this month. Started out good. Started out great. I was two week in. Well, I was. Third week in, and I started having problems, you know what I mean? So, and things like that. And I know I can talk to people. I've got friends who will listen to me on here as well. Um, this way, and I, I'm not, I know Lauren and Fane are help as well. I just don't like to put on to people, you know what I mean? I just like to see if I can sort it myself. And the only way I can sort it is to do what I do, you know what I mean? So there you go. That's my mental health journey for 31st of June, 2022. I hope you like. Well, I know you are. Yeah, I, I hope you've liked the video. If you have liked, please hit the like button. Please subscribe if you're new. And if you are new, please hit the bell icon and it all that will let you know when when I'm putting up another video. But please come back from time to time to see if you still subscribe to me. Cause YouTube's got a nasty habit of unsubscribing people, especially if you don't watch a video and comment in that video as well. So there you go. And things like that. Um, only reason why I'm, you know, I, I, I am a navigator. I do generally hope this helps people, you know, some people. 
And if it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's it's my personal mental health. It's what I'm going through. So, you know what I mean? And things like that. So hopefully things in the future gets better and better, I hope. You know what I mean? I don't know what it is. It is weird. So, please share the video as well to your friends and your family and to the social media, like Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. And please use the comment section and comment below and things like that but please don't forget to subscribe and it's free to subscribe so you might as well so i'll catch you on the next video bye for now knockout bro bye